do you think that Christine has changed because of the show? I don't, I honestly don't know. I, I really don't know. Um, I, I, I think probably, I think it takes your, whatever your, um, your worst quality maybe. And it, and it um, exasperates like that. It, it like, it, so if you're in, Secure, if you're narciss uh, uh, narcissistic, if you're whatever, like um, whatever it is, like I think like all the, the stuff going on, it just elevates it. And so I think, I, I really don't know. That, that's a confusing one to me because um, I really, I knew her before and, and there were small things, those traits and stuff, there were certain things I saw, but I just, she was so nice and stuff at the time that I'm like, I mean, she was, kind of more real and, and stuff. And so I didn't, I looked past a lot of some of the other things and, and there was enough good that I looked past the other stuff. And um, now I just like, I, I don't recognize her. I don't know. Um, but it, that's fine. I mean, everyone changes. Everyone um, has a right to be the, to mold into someone different. And if they're happy, that's all that matters. Doesn't mean we have to be friends. Doesn't mean that everyone's going to get along if if you change like that. And and um, but I just I want the best for her, and I I want, want her and her family to be happy. I just like we're just no longer compatible as friends. Do you think you guys would still be friends if it wasn't for the show? I don't know. Um, I, I would hope so. I, I really don't know what the change was, if it was the show, if it was a, um, a combination of things, um, but getting money and like from her marriage and I, cause money changes people, fame changes people. I don't know if it's a combination, if it's one or the other or what I, I really, I, I have no idea, but I would like to think we would be. Yeah, no, I mean, I think you're right. I think money changes people. And I do, listen, from what I do for a living, like I see people, you know, like, you know, you're back two years later. I can say, I mean, two seasons later, I mean, you're the same person to me. I mean, I know we were, we're not having coffee every day, but I, I can tell. I, I do think fame changes a lot of people if you have that there, like you said. If there's yeah. certain qualities, they just get exacerbated by like a thousand. And then you're like, you're not the same person I spoke to like six yeah. months ago. Like, yeah. I, and like, I get it. Like, but it's just like interesting to observe. So, yeah. Would you fire? And I'm good. This is my last question about Christine. Yeah. Would you fire Christine from the show? Would I? I don't know about that. I mean, She's good for the show, but I mean, but the the thing is, I guess in my opinion, I, I hope I don't get in trouble for saying this, but um, in my opinion, I know she's entertaining and good for the show, but um, but she's also taking away from the whole vision and the whole message that we were trying to send out, which is like, you can women can be boss bitches. You can be in, uh, do whatever you want. You can support each other, lift each other up. You can, we can have it all and we can be happy for people. You don't have to tear each other apart and be like jealous and vindictive and stuff like to make yourself feel better because you see that so much on social media. You see it all the time. You don't have to do that. Um, so that was most of the girls and us that, that was our, our, what we, the message we really wanted to send out because we do have a very unique group where we really do care about, we help each other out. If one of us is on vacation or we're sick, we'll go cover for them. It's like, we don't get anything from it. It's not our clients, it's not our, our stuff, but we, we want to help each other. We're proud of each other for, for um, our successes. And so I think, I think the drama that she brings because she wants to be like, um, a character of some sort takes away from an important message that we want to get out there. And so it's kind of sad, but I, I, I get it. I mean, people like drama and she's a very entertaining, but 
um, it, it causes problems personally for me and, and everybody else. And, and also the message that is good for the world um, is being kind of squashed. So I don't know how I feel. I don't know what I would do. It's so funny though, because I never really thought of that, but I really think that's a good point. Honestly, I never really thought about that because that is really the message. Like if you do take her out of it, it is women empowerment and you do all have no drama at all whatsoever. I mean, Chelsea is a huge personality too. And she's like over the top, but she, she's not, I don't think she would be one to, to try to do things um, hateful and vindictive to people and, and try to um, personally attack people. I think, I think she would continue to women support women and stuff like that. So, I mean, I think, I think the show could probably survive without Christine, um, but I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't, it's not, thankfully it's not my decision. No, that, that one is not your decision. A it lot is of not, things, and I don't want that to be my decision. <laughs> a lot of other things are your decision. Is there a part of like the real estate business, like you haven't done that, like you still want to do, you know, like new developments or, you know, like, it seems like you're getting into like your, some more flipping with Romaine, like. Yeah, put down that more, on. more investment properties. Um, I want to do more investments. Um, of course, always, I just always want to keep doing um, higher priced homes. I mean, more money. <laughs> so, and it's just, it's fun. Like, so to see all these elaborate homes. And so it's, it's fun. So I want to just keep, you know, um, having my price point going up and up and and I'm also working with a client on development on a big project um like a a apartment building like a couple hundred um unit apartment building and so we'll see how that goes looking for land for him now and and plans permits and everything so that'll be a really big project um we'll see yeah but it's it's fun to branch out and try new things. Do you ever get tired of like, I mean, I don't as a viewer, like the real estate porn, like you go into these houses, like, have you seen it all? Does anything shock you now? I mean, like we've seen like everything, like some of these homes are just so elaborate in like the best way possible. Um, I think when I went into the one um, about a month ago, it's the, the house that was originally 500 million and then it was reduced down to 300 hundred and then it went to auction so they brought us in to look at it and and try to see if we have any clients that could put it bids in there was a couple days left and so I went and looked at that a hundred thousand square feet um I I think I've seen it all now wow (laughs) yeah what about the fact like listen you've gone to like a lot of awards like selling sunset has been nominated like i mean you're you've been on red carpets like that's got to be a fun part of the business 